Well, build my gallows and build them high Makes a long time climbing before I die I want the chance Hello everybody, welcome to Long Bangers, I'm Matty And I am Colin, how are you? I'm good mate, how are you doing? I'm alright, I'm not bad good It's uh, nice in the morning after a derby win, isn't it? Still got to put a strip back on, remember? Good Lucky strip Good, good One wear, that game I wore it, I did wear a hoodie, I did wear a, a hoodie over it because um, I came up with a bit of grown man with a bush strip. Uh, but I, I thought I'll try it and see if it works. And it did. Well, you came up with a lot of pants. So I suppose I came up with pants I had on. I came up pants. I came up top. It was my black jeans. So try that after the split. Well, I had uh, last season's away top on against uh, Motherwell and we got beat. So I, I switched to the home top for last season uh, yesterday. See, so, there are a sale in the club shop, eh? Is there? With the strips, this season strips only twenty five quid. Only nah, maybe well, may, the long sleeve and strips leave the same price. So it's yeah, weird there. Do you feel then that you're getting good value for the long sleeve or ripped off for the short sleeved? I think. Well, aye, that's a good question. Okay. I was where I was looking at was like I was getting ripped off for the short sleeved. Aye, but I, aye, because I, I thought well, the long sleeves dearer when it comes out in June or July. So why is it the same price in the sale? Still mere material, must be the same principle, must say. Aye. I thought, because I thought it was 25 quid for the long sleeves, I thought it would be 20 for the short, and I might have just actually stood in the queue and bought it if it was. Um, that was 25, I went, mm. and I was like, oh, I'm going to get the long sleeved one. Um, and my daughter, Grace, she was like, nah, I can't get the long sleeved one. I was like, I like the long sleeved ones. She's like, nah, I'm not getting the long sleeved. So. That was yeah. you, that was and he keeps going back in the queue. like, we've got fucking 45 minutes till the game starts. Because Alan, I went to your bakery yesterday, it was fucking shut. So I added that time in to the, <laughs> to the day to go and get my tea sorted. Anyway. Anyway, it was a good day yesterday, right? So let's uh, let's wind it right back to the... Actually, when you woke up, Colin, how do you feel when you woke up Derby Day morning? What are you thinking? Totally nonplussed. What totally you? still negative after last week. Aye. And I still am. Pissed off, really pissed off, um, because of all that, and I kind of got to enjoy the moment and all that. But I was, I'm fucked off that we should, we should be challenged for third, right? And and yes. I was so pissed off going into it. I wasn't even that nervous. I was going to the game. I wasn't ever going to say I'm not going and taking half and all that. Um, but I wasn't nervous like I normally am at all. Just like fuck sake. So the attitude going in here. I woke up quite confident. Um, I didn't have the usual derby shites, but I think that may have been to do with the heavy cocodamol that I've got from my back that the doctor has given me. Like that, that has that effect on you, like a sort of plug it up effect, similar like to emodium, I believe. Um, yeah. So I don't know whether that, it, I, I, said I, he's got secret stuff. He got cocodamol recently for his knees, and he got I think to relieve that issue. All right, uh, the doctor at the same time. That's something to think about. Um, I wasn't aware of that. I wasn't aware it was Kokodomo was a blocker in that way. Aye, aye, it, it, it does that apparently. So I th- it might have been that, or it might have just been that I was, I was quite confident. But then we'd got a message from for one of our listeners, Debbie, who had said she'd had a dream that we got scudded 7-1, and I was like, oh, well, that's not a good uh, a good omen, is it? Yeah. Um, and then I saw the team, and I, but I, was, I got down the, the ground there earlier, I had like banging tunes on in the car, driving down east of the road, there was hardly any traffic, sun was out, just like a nice morning, I was on my own, I didn't have to go and pick anybody up. Got a parking space right by the ground and everything. I was like, fucking happy days. Got out of the car, looked at the team, and I went, oh, for fuck's sake. Can I ask why? Yes, you can. Good then. Why? Because uh, it, it, it was too defensive for me. Like when, when I looked at it, um, you've got. So, folk were moaning about Stevenson and Hanlon being in the side, right? I'm not bothered about that. I didn't mind either of those two players being in yeah. the team. Um, but Stevenson, Hanlon, Fish, Egan Riley, Jago, Doyle Hayes, um, Newell normally sits as a sitting midfielder as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, seven players at the uh, Cadden as well. Sorry, eight eight players at the eleven, um, not including the goalkeeper, were our, were defensive minded. So then you got the goalie, and it only leaves you Yuan and uh, and this bit. And based on how we played the last couple of games where we hadn't really created much, I was like, well, 
it's going to be the same again today. It's going to be fucking just not happening. Like Nisbet feeding off the scraps. You are knowing the game. It's going to be shite. Yeah. That, that was my view, and I, I tweeted about it. I said, I "Don't mean to be negative, but this is pretty negative." And that was uh-huh. that was gen- genuinely what I thought about the the formation. Uh, so, so on the flip, then, because I had this conversation with my brother-in-law when he arrived, the boy in front, uh, the sits in front of us, we talked to. Because everybody seemed to be moaning about the team. And you know I have not and they're black and white texts. Aye, yeah. So, do you right to, to answer that? What would you have done different? What were you thinking? What would you have done different? Well, again, who's on the bench that you're going, why is he not still in? I think Because that's what I was going. Aye. What does it fucking matter? Kukinevich was the only one that I'm going. And we were like, well, why is he not starting? Apart from that, what would you have changed? I, I, I genuinely don't know. And, and if you right. were changing him, who are you changing him for? Aye. I, I don't know. Um, it's the... Is the, the the honest answer because you asked that question and that, that was probably the the point where I was like fuck it I'm a morning for any good reason um because Josh came up he he he'd been at the pub with his mate uh and they came up after that was in and he was like oh fucking joke a a a lineup he's going three five two again we've never won with three five two but we didn't line up three five two right so the formation was was not anyway so he came down a wee bit when he saw how we'd set up rather than who the people were but i but but i asked him the same question because i was like i didn't have an answer to that so what would you change and he said system so when when they set up and he saw the system he says all right well fair enough so he he settled it uh, as well there but i would have to say like i i eat humble pie like Totally, I go for for all. I was frustrated with that that team lineup. We didn't play like I thought we would play, and we didn't set up like I thought we would set up. And uh, I would give the players and Johnson huge credit for that. In fact, you said, Colin, I'll give you credit here. Doesn't it matter system or the formation if the players fucking turn up, we'll be all right. And that's yeah. exactly what happened. Ten past twelve. I checked that uh, last night. I was talking to my wife when I got in. I was like, fucking said that before the game. So fucking. Folk got hung up. Like I was reading Twitter and that before it, and I had a wee look this morning actually at the the post about the, the post of the team. Folk were going losing their shit. Aye, everybody was going rage about it. And you're like, what are you going to do different? Like it, it, it was like, can you see what? what who, who else are you picking? It was basically because Kukarevich didn't start. But then look at Nisbet yesterday. You're not picking Kukarevich in this bit on that form, are you? No, I mean this bit. This bit had his best derby, I think, uh, yesterday. Um. All right, well, well, accepting that maybe folk jumped the gun with a line-up, uh, what did you think of the I game it's itself the then? I guess the hang-up on formations is a problem, because you're saying yeah. Josh isn't complaining about the players that were playing. He, he assumed it was a 3-5-2, and he was not happy about that. It wasn't a 3-5-2, and he wouldn't be the only one. You know what I mean? That's the, you know, that's what folk were going, fuck's sake. Like, but I, th- aye, but I, th- I think then that's like maybe like symptomatic, though, of Johnson's tenure, isn't it? Like mm-hmm. the fact that a, none of us could have picked the team probably before the yeah. game kicked off, and none of us could have predicted how we would have set up. You could have picked most of the players. I think people might have dropped Jago because there's obviously the sort of um, uh, attitude for him at the moment, and a lot of folk would have picked Kukarevich. So it would have been then Campbell in the midfield for Jago, and then it would have been going, fuck's sake, that's that midfield everybody sees was shite last year. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Kukarevich so, so for this bit. Um, or, or Yuan, maybe Kukarevich for Yuan, and then you stick two up front. And a folk, folk, two. folk might have had Devlin in instead of Hanlon. Maybe. Aye, aye, aye. based on nothing, aye. Like, obviously. And um, then so I, I toss it a coin to Brian Stevenson, and it really. Yeah, there's, um, there's no. It's not like you're going fucking boil on the bench, you know what I mean? Or why is McGee doing something or, or something? It's nothing, it's nothing. It's, aye. It's, it's, it's small margins, isn't it? Because even like uh, Henderson, for example, like, you're no. No. You're not desperate to get Henderson in the team. Well, I don't think anybody was, you know, not that he did anything wrong when he came on. Folk maybe would have wanted Egan Riley in the midfield because we played all right, right Joe, with, with Jacob sure. and Egan Riley uh, together. So I think that I think you could, if you if you sat down and really thought about it, you could probably come up with different combinations that you might have picked ahead of them. But of I don't. The same players. I think it's different combinations of the same players. More more or less, I but a couple of maybe one or two positions that uh, different. Um, but I don't think they would have necessarily made a huge difference. So I, I, I have to say, like my 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 gut reaction was to, to be disappointed and, and a bit pissed off about it. The question about what would you change made me consider it. Uh, and then by the time I saw the lineup, I'd sort of had settled in and was like, well, it is what it is. 
they played well though. Uh, in, in terms of the, the the game itself, Colin, what did you what did you think? I thought it was quite easy, and and I'm a wee bit annoyed that folk are saying Hearts were shite because I think we made Hearts shite, and I'm not wanting them to get the try and claim any kind of credit out of it at all, or try and dismiss Hibs' performance because that's the that's their how they, how they work. Although they've been pretty quiet, eh? I think they're all back to ah, I'm near into the golf and that Aye. Eh, style chat, um, because we were by far a better team. Although crazily, the stats. Like if you were to look at the stats, that's our mental Like I seen, I seen one on Twitter. So I said, I sent the BBC one to one of the group chats with the stats, the possession, shots, shots on target, all like that, corners even. And you think, fuck it, hell, that's mad, eh? Because like that's not what my eyes were telling me. But then there was one somebody posted. I think it was Hearts fan on Twitter, the the Sky ones. And there's even more stats that would lead you to think, like Jules won and all of these things that they were all in Hearts' favour as well. It's fucking mental because they were totally swept aside. One nil, like as we've spoken about. Before. <laughs> as happens, yeah, when we sweep them aside. <laughs> hammered them one nil. You know what I mean? Um, but that, that's the that's a good good starting point for our conversation with the extra time in February or January, whenever it was, because um, we want more days like that. And then we can start building into these when we then you play well and win. Um, but that's the. Uh, but I thought it was. I thought it was dead comfortable. I thought it was going to be first goal of the winner at one point in the second half. I thought they may get one of the ones that they get, kind of against the run of play or whatever. Because although they had all the possession, I think it was pretty much along their back line because they didn't want their goal to kick the ball. Because I think it was a desperate chuck him in, but he's, he's still got a hamstring because he only kicked the ball about three times. In the game, and one he booted out the park, one he put straight through to Marshall, um, because he obviously wasn't comfortable kicking. I don't know what his kicking's normally like, but it, it, it was certainly shite yesterday. The three that he two that two never went anybody. Um, so I, I thought it was easy. I thought it was comfortable. Comfortable one, though. Aye, I think it's one of these games. Like they had a couple of like their, their chances seemed to be like sort of scrappy ones, didn't they? Like they had one where the ball broke to Shankland in the in the box, and he kind of got stuck under his feet, and we managed to clear it. They had a header for a corner that Marshall saved, and I think I think at the time it looked like quite a decent save. But you watch it back, and actually the boys not really connected with the header at all. It's quite a, a routine save for uh, for Marshall. Still has to make it, but. Um, Feel the routine, and I can't really remember. If he didn't being... make it, you'd be going fucking insane. Oh, aye, like, aye, you know, yeah, definitely, aye, aye, aye. 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 Um, and then we had a couple of sort of players having their you know, the body on the line cliche thing where they're sliding in to make blocks and stuff like that. But then on the flip side, we had Newell volleyed one over the bar. Uh, I, I think that just didn't come down quick enough for him. Either. Like, just it, they drop. No. It, it was sort of hanging there for ages, going, fucking hell, just come down, come down. Um, Yuan had two that he probably should have done better with, one that had it the, the sort of near post that. He's tried to, to, to take it across Sander Clark and Clark's got his foot to it. He's got, aye, he's got his fucking school that really, hasn't he? I, I, give, I think the goal is maybe not fortunate, but I think the goal, I, 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 he should score that. I think the other one, he should definitely do better. Like when he's... With a cut back. for the corner. Aye. Aim for the corner in the second half. Aye. Oh, aye. That, that, aye the, the one, so I was thinking, I had one right after that, that what, the near post shot. Oh. Because Nisbet cut it back to him, just rolled it back aye. and he ran in and just fucking... It's one of these that you see it quite often. Players were running and just sky it. I can't have to get that height in it. Do you know? Like, I don't know, but it came up, we never mentioned it last week because we were that fucking angry. I mean, Bean, I've not seen somebody put in the top tier before. Aye. Um, and then I was listening to the radio on the way home last, eh, last night, yesterday afternoon, and um, he put one in the stand and the, in the commentator. Or the, it was that open all mics giving it the. He's not that type of player. Self chat, but he fucking done last week, did he? Aye. Like, two, two he, weeks he clearly fucking is. Aye. He definitely is. If he's done it two weeks in the stop. Anyway. Um, aye. And it, it had the feeling that one of these games where we were going to pass up all the chances. Eh? Like you said, like first goal, the winner. Yeah. I thought the goal would come, though. I have to say, like, I, I was sitting watching the game and I got more and more comfortable as the game went on. Yeah. And I thought the goal was going to come. I didn't necessarily think it would come for. But how often have you been in a derby before? feeling like that and how often have you sat here even in the last three years what it's been four years and said I thought it was going to come and then fucking aye loads of times you know what I mean and, and it's just it just happens eh? so that was my worry that's where the first goal of winner because I, I thought we were going to get it but I could also have seen it finishing nil nil or them sneaking one aye uh, the goal itself then so uh, Daryl Hayes 
nice corner at the back post. Hanlon uh, gets to it, knocks it back into uh, in its space, and Nisbet just r- runs on. Nice finish into the, the roof of the net. Yeah. Tell you what was good just before it. You hadn't won the corner. Oh, by well. the way. Because that was just like aimless, was it? Uh, Caden, or Egan Riley just banged across with Miles way over the back and Yuan got to it and just won a corner out. So give him credit for that because I'll probably have a wee pop on later on for other stuff. But they, they, he done really win the corner. Now, it was a good corner, but it was good to see scoring for a corner, eh? Like, Aye, that's it's often. Aye. It's not. So. Um, actually, Yuan did that quite a lot. They were chasing down sort of lost causes and I could cause them. It caused them bother Aye. and see if we had a final product. It's a player, eh? Aye, Aye. It would have been un- unreal because even like the one you said, he sort of passed it back to Xander Clark. He, he was going to fucking put your foot through it. It all opened up. Put in the corner. Put, Just put in the, the corner. Aye. Had, had, a, had a great view of it and going, it's one of these ones where you're almost off your seat because you're going, it's a fucking goal. I didn't even unfold my arms. Did, did you know? I'm sitting uh, like this, like I am right now, because <laughs> I, I didn't expect it. Like, because I normally would be, but I thought, oh, I just didn't fancy him. Aye, I think if it, if, if that had fallen to this bit, it's a goal. Do you know, it's one of those ones, or, or uh, Kukurovic, I think it would have been a goal. Um, but I, you and just, didn't I, I'd love to know what, what goes on in his head when he gets into those positions, because he does everything right up until that point. Yeah. And then, I don't must, know. Must like just that, that, that composure, eh? But you wonder, like, can you learn that? I don't know. But I don't know. you can learn to teach. I hope so. Um, I guess practice would be the only way to to get you used to it, but never yeah. in a match used in practice. But I'd assume to practice is the only thing you can do till it, till it becomes second second nature. Because he, he caused him loads of bother and we obviously set up to to use that because mm. it, it was mad the amount of times and I've watched the game back as well as, as seen it live at the time. But Newell and, and Doyle Hayes or certainly Newell were playing balls for for uh, Yuan. Their defender would be beside them and then they would go, fuck it. And they would just run inside and let him run away doing the touchline. Like, they wouldn't even try to track him. <laughs> he just leave him because they would either go, well, a couple of things it could be, eh? like, I can't keep up with him. There's no point. I'm just going to look stupid. I'll get in the middle for the cross. Or two, he'll be fuck away anyway. Like, I, it'd be interesting to hear what their, what their thought process was like because it did look like I can't keep up with him. I think it'd be the form. I don't think at our level you're letting somebody, like, I think it's different when it's yeah. let the defender have the ball. And they'll shell yeah. it in the park or whatever. Yeah. But a, with a forward like that, you're going, you can't really take the risk, can you? So if you can keep up them, you're going to keep up them and just fucking dominate the battle. So uh, I, I, th- yeah. I think they were going, I just can't keep I up them. I, I, I better get an extra man in the middle rather I, than just running behind them. I, I, don't yeah. think you, I don't think you can take the chance with a, with a forward that, in the top flight. Because they just left them be. Aye. You know, it was. Uh, and I tell you what, I quite, I'm not all over the place here, but I quite liked the. This is probably the closest we've got this season to the the promised style of play. Yeah, get forward quickly. I get so behind Smith tried to have. I think Neesmith tried to have a wee ball, but his interview when he was saying third place, they're not bothered about, it and they're not really interested. Um, despite despite being the, the uh, third best team in the country, uh, eh? uh, as we all heard about. Clear, um, clear third best. Did I? I take real offence to Aberdeen. Did the, the, the Rangers manage to say Aberdeen? Aye, they did. Aye, they're not the third best. Eh? Um, but they're not bothered about that anymore. But he was also having a pop about, uh, like, try to see if we were playing long balls and that. But, and, and we were, we were getting it fo- forward quickly, but we weren't just, like, punting it. Like a tape no. punt at the park. For a, you know, it was, like, aimed, precise, deliberate. Kick it in its space for Cad and Yuan because they're defenders. Or kick it over the top because they're sent half their shit. And I should that be honest. Really, they struggle with pace. They struggle with high balls or whatever it is that they struggle with. They struggle with defending. Aye, and quite a lot of the time those balls behind came from the midfielders. It wasn't going like fish, phew, like pinging it long, or the thing. Like you see the amount of balls that Newell or Dolly Hayes put over, yeah. And it was just like getting them turned and in behind them. Um, and that was how they they lost Smith right at the start as well, wasn't it? It was just like a ball in behind for Yuan to run on. And, uh, it was to reach up. Aye, good. Um, I'll come at the talking points in a in just a second. Just what can you call it? A couple of the individual performances, right, so Joe Newell was getting a bit of, no- a bit of heat online uh, for comments that he'd made, like he'd, he'd obviously done a presser or something in mm-hmm. the, the run-up to it, and he was like, oh, we're due a win, it would mean loads and all this kind of thing, and folk were like, fucking shut up, they're talking on the pitch and all the rest of it, 
He did the uh, did his talking on the pitch yesterday. Yeah? Mm-hmm. yeah, I didn't like that. I didn't like the G German chat. Do you know, like in context, I thought he was alright. What he said is like I, would, would, I, I didn't would, listen to it. I just uh, heard him, and and I didn't like the. I don't know what that doesn't mean that that's what he said. But do you win? It's like it doesn't work like that. No derbies. Look at the look at the fucking look at the the tick on that one. Yeah. Um. So, but if you play like that in derbies. We'll start to turn around. Well, I thought Newell was outstanding. Like he played like a man possessed. It's good seeing some of the clips online uh, this morning. You know, there's a Rami at the end when uh, Campbell headers kind of goes in for it. So, like, so he's trying to win the ball. I can't remember who it is that he he, he hit but but um, by the way, that boy was out fucking uh, can get it the flat out the yeah. emergency treatment. So sort of everybody's making a big fuss about it. Go up and then ran forward for the free kick. Like I didn't go for that. I know. Shocking. Eh? Shocking. Yeah. Shocking. Uh, care. Care. Lack and of care. And that, that was like a, it was a saying because we it was one of those ones when you see it and you go oh yeah. Again, mm. we we winced uh, in, in the yeah. stand. We saw it. It was right in front of us. Um, but Newell was on the pitch. He'd been subbed off at that point. He's on the pitch getting involved in the ramy and that fucking brilliant yeah. go on, Joe. I know because uh, he was in a book and I thought can he send him off now? I could have could have got sent off again. Mm. Uh, on the pitch without permission. That's when you if you're going to get sent off in a derby. That's when you want to date when you're subbed off, and it doesn't make make any difference. You can just go and fucking yeah. banjo somebody. Um, I, I actually the other point was to to make because we'll go to talking points, and there's a few players get called out in that. Right at the death, they get the free kick. Do you think Hanlon was lucky not to get sent off there because Hanlon Phil Shanklin had just been booked for that Rami. Hmm. Well, I had a big club, but I probably so, I, I, I was like. Because I would be screaming for a yellow if it was mm. kind of if it'd been this bit running through, but to pull the trigger, yeah, and he just gets taken out. And it was a, a yeah. great foul yeah. for Hanlon in hindsight yeah. as well. You'd probably gone, fucking if they scored for the free kick, you would have slaughtered them for it, but mm. or would you? I don't so, know. you're facing, would you, would you say that's one he has to make anyway? It's close, it's getting close in, so he's got to do it there if he's not doing it because it's a penalty, Aye. another couple of steps or another step, it's a penalty, yeah. Um, do you let like the top scorer, their top scorer, get a fucking free shot away, or do you just swipe the cunt? Again, he was he was running at traffic. That's the only thing. So I think mm. uh, Doyle Hayes was he still on the pitch at that he was point? Running at traffic at Easter Road in fucking January when he ah well that's true. The corner, yeah. That's true. Because uh, I think we we, we kind of cleared it as he fell. So I don't know if he would have run into the, the the other players there or if he would have had space to yeah. get a shot away. Anyway, Hamlin makes a foul. Doesn't he get booted for it? Which is good. I think probably ninety percent of the stadium were expecting the right to bulge at that point. Again, you said you weren't, and your daughter disagreed with you, but Hi. I was like, "Oh fuck!" So I, I said, uh, "I set my phone when they put the injury time up. See if we're winning. I keep going and say, right, uh. put it on so I can see how long's left." I was like, "I fucking can't even look at it." It's like coming approaching four minutes. It's like, but we have no time. If they score here, we are fucked. Mm-hmm. Uh, I put my phone away. It's like uh, I didn't really want to watch it. I was like, "It was coming." <laughs> I did watch it, and uh, thankfully they, they, f- they fucked up, but they still had the chance after that as well, because you can like the the lift that the crowd had when that uh, when it broke to us and then we cleared it, it was like a huge celebration went up. Yeah. But the ball like, just came right back into the box again, and we had to do it again. I was quite glad the players stayed switched on there because I I think where everybody could sort of go, thank fuck for that. There would have been a real risk for them to go. That's us. We've, we've done what we need to do now. And, and just switch off for that wee split second, but they never did it. Yeah. Uh, and then that was it. Can, kind of Campbell took it into the corner after that, and, and we we saw it out. Uh, right, we'll do some talking points. Uh, How, well, hopefully, I've got a couple of things that I was thinking about, but um, we can see if they come up. And then Joe, then I'll, I'll cover all right, no, I'll fair, get the question. fair enough. Right, so first one's from uh, for Charlie, right, 2016 on Twitter. Uh, Gorky Globetrotters are very quiet tonight. Magnificent performance, especially for Joe Newell. Never lost a challenge and showed them who was the boss in the middle of the park. Right. Uh, he didn't get man of the match on the, for the sponsors. This bit got no. it. Who would you have picked as your man of the match? I, I would have picked Newell, I think. I thought Nisbet was excellent as well, though. Mm-hmm. And I thought Doyle Hayes had a good game. Um, but I would have in that I would have had Newell Nisbet Doyle Hayes would have been one two three I think would have been my my order. Aye, I think we had the the spine of the team played really well. I mean, I think Marshall didn't have that much to do. Hanlon was outstanding. Newell was outstanding. Doyle Hayes 
and uh, and this, but you could have taken your pick for them. But I, I, if I had to hang my hat on one of them, I would have picked Neil yesterday. Um, ENT asked, "Did you get on Sportsline, Matty?" Uh, yeah, I did. And uh, Saint Christopher asked, "Did I have to talk about Aberdeen?" No, I didn't. Um, I was... not Saint Christopher. I've not heard him for ages. I was thinking about that yesterday. I've not seen him at the games, and I've no no heard from him in here. That's quite interesting. He's tweeting today. Hi, hope you're well, Saint Christopher. <laughs> um, the, the sports thing was quite a good uh, a good discussion. I missed the start of it. I had to go listen back. Obviously, I never missed the bit where I was talking. Like I was there for that. <laughs> <Just this way. laughs> I, I was there. Um, but with Mikey Stewart having a big fucking rammy with uh, Tom English about. Uh, so apparently, because I had that. I never heard it earlier on. Um, after the game, he had said something about Saki Nielsen and that because he's got a conflict of interest there, isn't he? Uh-huh. He's his mate, and he's trying to defend him all the time. And they really need to try and get away from that and provide a bit of fucking objectivity on on their shows. Um, but he then came on at night, and Tom English cast it back up again, and she was saying, "I never said that." Kind of chat. Uh-huh. And my wife was listening to it earlier on because she was in the game, and she'd put it on. And, she says, fucking did say it. Some place you said, if you get a chance, fucking <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, aye, so, he, he was funny. Mickey Stewart's a funny one, anyway. Aye, very, very sort of, uh, I think he's getting fed up at all of having aye. a go for, for Hammer and Levine and getting Robbie mm. easy. Uh, mm. and, and I don't think he's got like a... Well, now Robbie's away, it might help him be a bit, be a back to... Because I thought he was good. But I think over the last season or so, since Rangers hammered him, although I've seen he, he gave him a go again, uh, last week he moaned about the refereeing hang and oh, did they good about their letter and all that. And then um, now that his mate's been sacked, then he might be able to provide a bit of balance again because he was good at that until he got sidetracked. Hi, um, Matt said uh, Jake Doyle Hayes plus Newell plus Jago were all pretty solid. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. With those three in the middle of the park, why? So just before you answer that, because I thought that's a really good question because they were good, but why doesn't it work? Davy Fallon replied and said, "Today was literally the first time that all three have been on the park together." I was just going to say, they played. Aye. Aye. They, all, they all got minutes versus Motherwell, but were never on the park at the same time as the three. So there, there's, that's probably why then, isn't it? Like, if you're looking for an answer, <laughs> Aye, if it doesn't work next week, then we can ask that question. But having said that, I think sometimes it's down to the opposition as well, isn't it? Like how they play and how they set up. Is it not? Um, I suppose it depends on yeah how how they match up against the, the opponent. It's interesting because who did Hearts have in the middle yesterday? Devlin and uh, he could have been sent off, I know, by the way. But oh, I, I'm assuming we'll have a bit on the referee at some point. I've no, no doubt. Um, was it Devlin and um, Halliday? I think it was. Nah, I, I struggle with a Hearts team because I didn't ever fucking pay attention to them. Well, the BBC had them lining up for two defensive midfielders, three one. So I don't know who you class as. Uh, if it's for the central boys, it counts as the three. Aye, I don't know, but, the there. but in, in terms of being a battle, because I was expecting more for the Hearts midfield, and they just never got a sniff, and I think that was because, um, I don't know if they're set up to, to play against more attacking players. Aye. Do you know, so they're less effective if the player they're up against is also a, a sort of defensive-minded player and just stops in playing. I had boy Grant in there as well, by the Grant. way. That was it, and the two wide boys were Forrest, who fucking, I forgot about it, and Mackay. Who only seen when he was flying through the air. Uh, <laughs> the um, Halliday, Mc- Devlin, and Grant. Mackay, Mackay had a look at the ball, but the fuck all wet. Uh, Forrest, I wouldn't even care he was playing. Do you know? Um, no. And the boy Grant, I think, for a wee spell towards the end of the first half, he started picking up the ball in decent areas. And like, I think Hearts had maybe like a 10 minute spell, just no long before half time, where they were putting us under a bit of pressure. Aye. And he seemed to be sort of the, uh, the heart of that for them. But I think the your midfield just sort of imposed themselves again, kind of got a grip of that and, and turned it around second half and never got a sniff. Um, it's funny the perception away because I saw that question coming from Matt and I was like, oh, that's a great question. And uh, I, they've never played together. So <laughs> perception is that it doesn't well, work. There's no fact check that either, have you? That, no, no, I haven't right. have the fact checked it, but I, I'll, I'll give David the, the benefit of the doubt. But it goes back to what you were saying, I suppose, with with Newell, Jake Doyle, Hayes and Campbell, the, the midfield that was slaughtered last season and that folk never wanted to see again. Um, they have featured together again this season and have been all right. Uh, Mixu99 said, uh, have the Gorky Ultras disbanded or could they not get tickets to the game? 
Aye. They weren't very noisy, but then that's that's good, eh? That's what we want. Like, it's because we were imposing ourselves selling them. We weren't letting them get, a, get into it. They were, um, they were quite even at 0-0, though. They were, they were quite... Yeah, but we were on top for pretty much straight away. Aye. But when does that... I mean, normally they're... You get, get a bit more than that for them at, at Easter yeah. Road, but I'm not complaining. I was fucking delighted that they were they were quiet. And folk made the point on Twitter last night, how good is it that... Because it was in the balance right to the end, they all fucking had to stay. Yeah. They're all waiting for the last minute goal, so they're all having to fucking try to filter out and watch amazing. us. Like, and I, I hope... I'd, I'd love for us to have a scoreline that we could throw in their face all the time like that. Obviously, 7-0, we're only born, right? Um, and, and I've only got five fingers on one hand. But old men, like our age and older, giving it the five one to the ball boys and that aye. on their way out. And you're like, everybody's laughing at them about it. Aye. Like and, and I like I'm still fucked off about that day and I'm not gonna deny I'm not doing that I was over at like five o'clock stuff, right? I'm not no hide it. But to be doing that as a grown man, like if you play the ball boys, they were giving them a fucking they were giving them plenty. I hope we're getting the five one back. That's a ten ten with me. Five one. They were getting them plenty of uh, doing in front of me, doing the ball rest and when they were on the way out. Yeah, as well as not being the players of the ball back very quickly. Aye, that was good as well. Um mm. aye, it, it was good having to watch them filter out as we're singing Sunshine and Leith, because the you couldn't escape it. It's not that you could just pretend you can't hear it. Do you know they had to watch it, they had to, to, to fucking well, listen to it. You mean, it wouldn't matter how far they got away, they would have heard it. Could you see the videos far after seeing that? Aye, brilliant, eh? Was, what, <laughs> it'd have been a day I left at fucking half time when I heard that <laughs> I'd, uh, I'd seen a clip when I came out uh, somebody filming it for the flats behind Easter Road mm. uh, clear as anything but then yeah. I, the, the, the video for Arthur's seat it's fucking amazing yeah, eh? yeah. Uh, you need more moments like that I think that's the the thing is like you, you sort of there's been some conversation like on dot net and even in the group chat we came focusing about their disengaged with the team and uh, why why are we bother going to the fit but everything it is for moments like that make it worthwhile eh? where you have the win and then you're buzzing after it and you have the, the sunshine on leaf playing and you go fucking that that is why you go to the games yeah. and why you put up all the shite i know but come on but we should have less of the shite yeah, yeah no arguments there yeah we should have less of the shite and made of the good stuff uh, Sharp26 said good performance all round however why did it take Egan Riley 80 minutes to realise Hearts were always going for the crossfield diag uh, once he woke up he intercepted 3 or 4 in the space of 5 minutes if I remember correctly I actually thought he clicked onto that earlier like I thought second I half especially he was, he was brilliant Egan Riley actually that was one of the things I was going to mention I thought he was good yesterday after his first I thought the first 15 minutes he looked a wee bit Shaky, and it could be because he's playing another different position. Aye. I actually thought it was maybe the best position he's played for us because I thought, and it's maybe harsh because one of the games in midfield he played where I thought he, he struggled a bit was Rangers and they were putting him under pressure and he never had a Newell or somebody beside him to yeah. take, take the heat off him. Um, and then obviously centre half last week. And that. So I think right back he looked, he looked the best he's looked after the first 15 minutes and it might have been that he's never played in a Atmosphere like that, a big crowd like that. I don't know. Like, but he's played Champions it. League, Man City, so he's definitely he? had the big crowd. Aye, he, he played Was one he? game in the Champions League, so he's yeah, definitely played the big, big crowd. But the atmosphere, no necessarily like for, yeah. for all, and I didn't mean to be fucking snobby about the football or anything or reverse snobbery. They had and that they're no. Aye, like, and it, it wouldn't it, have been a Champions League semi final. It would have been a fucking game against like the shitest team for. Aye, I don't know Poland or something. Aye, aye, I can't remember who it was that he, that he played against, but. The, the, it wouldn't be hostile like a, a, a derby or... That, aye. Yeah. But it's a bigger crowd. Bigger crowd with no noise. Yes. Yeah. Because um, that's one of the games you can get a ticket for, eh? Like, you know, if you fancy it on a Wednesday night, aye. you can go to the, the Man City Champions League early stage game. Um, but not to take away from it. I didn't realise they'd played in that. But I, I thought it'd maybe been cut off with the, with the atmosphere and the, the intensity or whatever. Because like, I haven't played a lot of reserve football and youth football, he wouldn't, he wouldn't have heard that. Um, because I actually thought at the time, and I actually I still think he was quite slow going to that ball eh, where he got booked. But having seen it back, he's just fucking cleaned the boot. And I always want that in a derby. Stevenson Aye. put a big one in early doors, and, and you can really put a big one in early doors. And I thought at the time, I thought, fuck me, man, he's been booked after 10 minutes. He's now got to be walking the tightrope. And from where I was watching it, I thought, he hesitated there. He could have got that ball with foot. 
And if he hadn't hesitated, he could have maybe got ball and man, because I think he just took man, eh? Yeah. Um, but come on, 10 minutes in, if you're not going to get booked again, have a hindsight, fucking good tackle, isn't it? Like, ah, he was. I thought he was maybe a wee bit lucky just after it, because he went in sort of almost one of his uh, scissor motion tackles. And that couldn't stay down for ages, Aye. trying to get the ref to have a look at it. And, the, the whole bench uh, were at it, eh? They were yeah. all like fucking. Right in front of them. At, at the fourth official, they were at the ref, the boys stayed down. There's fuck all wrong with them. But I was like, oh, fuck, he's going to get a second. Because he's beaten as well. And I can't, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about beating, but he just didn't care how he's going to fucking handle something. He, he's just a shite ref. Um, but after that, because that, we were saying we'd get Miller on for him. Just take the hit, put Miller on, and then take the risk of the red card. But Egan Riley was just like, fuck it, so good for the rest of the game. He was. He was good to the quality again. Uh, Paige said Newell was class uh, in brackets unpopular opinion I don't think that is an unpopular opinion I think everybody would acknowledge be. Well, aye but it not can be yesterday. though there's a lot of people that are probably being a wee bit quiet the day waiting on the waiting on the moment again because we know that Newell is class on his day and aye. yesterday was one of his days but let's see hope it's next week he has one again next week eh? let's have two, three, four, five in a row he tends like. he tends to play quite well on a derby though Newell especially at Easter Road aye. like he missed the cup game didn't he um, and I think he missed the one before that but in the the draw with him at the start of the season, or the, the one before that was uh, was tiny, wasn't it? Um, yeah. I thought he was outstanding. He just he, aye, it obviously means a lot to me when you see it at the the end of the game. Like singing such a relief. Aye, probably got sent off. I know celebration. I know. Uh, Michael Donaghy on on that uh, subject said, "How good was Joe Newell? Does this display put to bed the new owners? I doubt it." No. Um, what does is him doing that more frequently. Aye, and, and and to be fair, there's there's a few players that you could say that uh, about, and that that's one of uh, my points about uh, Jake Doll Hayes. Jake Doll Hayes had a great game against Celtic, was yeah. shite in the next game against Motherwell. I thought brilliant uh, yesterday, and it's like if you you need to deliver that all the time, and then folk did him on. I think that's the Aye. Aye. like you say that, that's how, you how say it went all, over. Not even all the time, but like more times than not. Aye, like like seven out of ten times. Mm-hmm. And and you would get away with it, the two or three. It's uh, more like that. You're looking at sort of it's four or five times out of ten. Mm-hmm. Right, Bass seventy two or base seventy two. Um, main talking points: uh, Newell is an exceptional football player. Jago, we never talk about him because he carries out his role in the team perfectly. The team played for one another today. Outstanding. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jago, Jago, how uh, would you assess his performance yesterday? I didn't really notice him. But then is it, that might be what his job is. Um, we've got, you hear the dogs barking. Uh, 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 no much you can do about it. Not even Apologies, mind, people. It's one in the, one in the street. Um, the, uh, we should talk about that short bangers at some point. Stray dogs, isn't there? Like, they see them anywhere? Nah, you um, don't see stray dogs anywhere. Does that make so like dogs wandering into school playgrounds? Mm-hmm. Well, I was a, I was a nidry boy, like, and dogs used to just walk a bit, nidry, yeah. Like, one not Todd. Aye. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, um, the, what were we talking about? <laughs> talking about the match, yeah. Jay, yeah uh, Jim and Jago. Jim and Jago, you said they didn't aye. really notice him, and maybe that's nah. what he was meant to, meant to do. Aye, and I don't know, but, uh, and I've watched the back, and again, I never really noticed, uh, the only thing I did notice, I thought, despite all the criticism of how bad he is at passing, um, he got, he was your man for the uh, kickoff to knock it up. Aye, to put it in the corner. Yeah, like... Why are we not getting a good pass to the boy for that? <laughs> I suppose anybody could chip a ball up in the, in the corner, eh? But we wouldn't have thought so with some of the criticism we've seen uh, the, him. Uh, I think he could do that. Aye. But, aye, he seemed fine. I don't know. Somebody tell me different, like, I don't know. It seemed all right. I thought everybody was, was good. I think really. well, we had a, we had a, a, a bad like that, performance. Yeah. Um, I, I tell you, like actually, the 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 player that you didn't see that much of was probably Fish, and that's that shows you how much we were on top. I think Hanlon handled Shanklin for uh, for the most part. Fish didn't really have much to do. What he needed to do, he did well. Um, David Loudon asked, uh, "Why is Lewis Stevenson so shaggable?" Yeah, I know. Good quality. Yeah. Do you think that um, that was potentially his last start at Easter Road? 
Aye, because he's not signed the new deal, eh? He's not been offered a new deal, one of the two. That's uh, it's good for him to go out. I was thinking that was coming away. I was like, imagine that's the last time we see Stevenson in a, a, in a derby. I'm glad he got oh, a win. A good one for you. Aye, yeah. a good and way to go put, out. He put a big heavy tackle in the first 10 minutes as well. So that's what we want. That's what we've said before about leaders. It's not, a leader that, it's not a leader that's doing the ball and the shouting. It's a leader that's going and going and fuck you. I think he had, uh, he had an absolutely brilliant touch. Second half, uh, the, the ball came over to the back post and he ran over it. The defender's coming and he's coming at pace, but just sort of. Just like delicately, just lifted the ball over the defender and run round him. Yeah. Fucking brilliant. Uh, yeah. And then he, he obviously uh, fired across, and I think that it, it got blocked. Um, but I, I, I thought Stevenson played like it was his last derby uh, at Easter Road yesterday. He put everything into it as he normally does. Um, and I, I think you also spotted him calling the linesman a fucking cunt. A fucking cunt. Um was the yeah so it was good and it was live on BBC Alba as well in the replay excellent did they, did they kind of they, they translated that to Gaelic did they I don't know <laughs> I can't, I can't <laughs> make it <laughs> I hope so Um I mean she's going to get booed for that eh I know because it's pretty it's, it, it's probably a red card aye but probably would be because there, yeah. there was uh, I probably could ask to the linesman for no grass in the van was that where he sort of slid in for a block and, and they gave the, a and it should have been a goal kick I think uh, or Stevenson have thought it would be a, a goal kick well I thought it should have been actually as well at the time they were at the last time because right eh? so, yeah. they went fucking mental at him it was like one of those ones coming you're leaning forward to shout I'm not just like a fucking I'm not just annoyed <laughs> at you I'm so annoyed I'm going to fucking lean forward and shout at you I, know. Uh, I was like but we know he's got a thing for the sea bomb eh? he's dropped it on here in the Aye. past so it's obviously a word he's got a problem with. Good, good fight for that, yeah, that's why. Um, <laughs> Lex Loafer said, special mention to the crowd today from the first minute we were right up for it. Hardly heard a peep out of the diets all game. And is there a better club song in world football? Apart from Liverpool, uh, you'll never walk alone. I can't think of one. No, I, don't, I mean, I'm not very any others. i never walk alone as me daily. It's like, that, that was a song that others used as well, eh? Aye. It's not just Liverpool, it's just Liverpool. Celtic use it now as well, don't they? So yeah. It, and it does sound good at Celtic on the big European nights. We, uh, we used to sing it in the 90s. They were singing it in the road. Aye. I think the 91 cup final, eh? The, 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 uh, when you see footage yet. Aye. Um, the cup coming back, the Easter Road was folks singing it. Aye. Um, I wonder why that just, why we decided to stop doing it. Aye. Stop singing the sash. Sing it anyway. Aye. Do you sing that anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Some fans still do. Um, right, Charlie McGrew thinks he made that up. Said uh, number one, big fan of Yuan, just not on the wing. Uh, number, well, we'll take that first. Right, Yuan, where is his best position? Do you think, if not on the wing, Colin? I, I don't know. I think it is on the wing because it, it, it creates so much. It, it, so he creates so much difficulties for other teams with his pace. Now, when it, have you seen him through the middle much? He played at Livingston through the middle. Is that the only thing? Um, he's, he's kind of like generally in a game he'll drift inside and then drop outside again depending on how the, the game's game scored, been but... out on the left this season the start of the season against Rangers and Hearts and that because he does create and then yesterday he does create bother because he's pace defenders just don't know how to look at this we've already mentioned he just went fuck it just Aye. can't, he, can't he keep up with them we'll just go in the middle and defend if and I know this I'm not saying he's never got a final product. I appreciate it. Probably sound yesterday he didn't. He picked the wrong options. I know for what. And he has got a final, right? Because he's got a final ball because he scored a few goals. And was he not one point one of your most creative or most assists? Ah, most but, assists, yeah, definitely. So, so he has done stuff. I think it's maybe he, he has that many opportunities. Maybe his percentage uh, conversion of the opportunities that he's in isn't very good because he does obviously convert some. Uh, and he goes and then he assists. But yesterday, I was fucking moaning at the final ball or decision or option. But Aye. I mean, the, the actual opportunity that he was creating was was excellent. So it's, it's I'm a real funny one. I'm a quandary one. But it, it, it's still on the do you sign him? It's like, well, who else? Are we, who else are we in for? How much is he costing? And I'm still on the fence there. Aye. Uh, second point from Charlie who thinks he made up is a uh, ref uh, beaten terrible. Right, before what, I give my, my views on him, what, what was your view uh, on Beaton's performance? Um, so so I thought, I, I, I didn't, I think folk go daft at the ref all the time. 
and it, and and they go daft for things that aren't the, the rules. Yep. Um, because they don't know the rules, and I, I'm not saying I do right, but I've got. I, 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 you come up with my memory can be like I'm like, but they've been, we got a decision like that, in a game at some point, right? So yesterday there was folk going fucking nuts because there was a offside in our own half, right? But that's the rule now. Senior, that can happen. That, so you can be, you can't be offside in your own half, but if you're offside, and then you come back to your own half and receive the ball, that's why. That could take, yep, right? that's right, and that's yep. that definitely happened before. Yeah, on on both sides. So that is it. Two balls on the pitch. Two balls can be on the pitch if it's not interfering the play. Right, that's it. Uh, and it's up to the referee to decide that. And yep. then when the ball second ball was on the pitch, it wasn't interfering the play. It was like ten yards behind the play was. I I thought it was close enough. Like that's why I was I was like listen, they're all in that corner. The second ball is fucking right there, and he could have stopped the throwing and taken to get that ball off. Before, but, he's, he, he, but he's allowed to use his judgment and stop what's not a play, right? So, so that's the rule. So, but it's like you can't have two balls in the pitch, and that's so folk are getting irate and letting these things go. That there was even one uh, we had a bit of chat in the stand at the time when somebody got somebody got in the ball in the middle of the park, got halved, and the ball went forward to Kukarevich, and then they have... pulled it back for the free kick in the yellow card, right? Oh. Which it was, and they were going fucking play advantage. There was no advantage. There was two or three boys in Kukarevic with the ball. There was no advantage. And when I watched it back in the tail, that was what I thought at the time. I was like, I was going to have a free kick in the yellow card, actually, because we're not scoring for that. Aye. Right? And when you watch it back in the telly, he actually did wait and thought, no advantage, I'll pull it back. Right? So so folk were getting riled with things like them, which yep. were all correct, and they were wrong. And then... So so then and then you go right. So Hanlon didn't get a second jelly. Could have Devlin could have got a second jelly almost immediately after he got booked as well. Yeah. What did he get wrong? Shankland should have been booked. Uh, right, on okay. uh, on Marshall. Yeah. That was, that was a big one. It. And then yeah. I mean, it is a booking. Like right. So it, it, Marshall's about to bowl the ball out for us to go and counter attack. And he trips him up and pulls him, pulls him down, I, right? I, I, he definitely did trip him up, pull him right. We got, uh, I can't remember who it was, New Old Jake Doll. His uh, booking was for, for the same thing, harsh attack, and they pulled the boy back. Aye. Right? So it's, it's, a, it's a yellow card. No problem with a yellow card. There. Different position on the pitch. Aye. Aye. But, but still, you look at what our tactics were yesterday. But get get in behind them early and, and start the attacks. Yeah. So we yeah. he stopped that happening. It, it should have been a yellow. Um, and then there was another one first half where Yuan's going through and he gets pulled in by the boy and the ref just doesn't give fucking anything. And it was like a, a clear foul. Like, right. it'd be a foul and that would also be a booking uh, as well that he just ignored. Mm-hmm. I agree with you with stuff with the, uh, the, the the ball on the pitch one. I was like, it's fucking the same bit, the same area. But I agree with you that did they actually interfere? Because Jake Doll has kicked it into the bit where it, it was going to... No, but, uh, but folk were going daft because they think you're not allowed two balls in the pitch. Aye. And you're like, yeah, depending on what the referee thinks. And uh, the big Rami at the end, he just fucking picked two Hibs players. I think uh, he could have... Been, well, if came out, Hanlon could have had a red card because he grabbed the boy with the throat. So if we're saying what he's missed, aye. He, he, right, he definitely grabbed the boy with the throat. I thought Devlin was in the middle of that. He could have got a second job, and didn't he? Uh, which was another one because Devlin actually after straight after he got booked looked like he was going to boot Doyle Hayes when when you're talking about the one when he Aye. so the rugby tackle to be what you call it the boy um, you know these stupid fucking tackles today when <laughs> make it, like, you'll go boot for one as well just grab the boy's shoulder and Aye. fucking flip them in they ones and and Devlin looked like and I thought that's, that could be a second jelly there right Aye. away but then that's why because it's right away you know what I mean Aye. and that's where that pisses me off with the uh, all referees, uh, it's that um, interpretation thing. Or Aye. what minute of the game is it in? What part of the pitch is it in? You know, like, is, it, is it a penalty? It's a penalty, but it wouldn't be a free kick in the centre circle, sort of thing, can they kind of, or the other way around? Um, because Ivy Shankland won, it was definitely a free kick, and it's probably a yellow card for the reasons you say. Uh, but there, there's other, like, there's other decisions where they've went your way as well. So you could you could add, add all the months you want, shite, but I think the I think we all get worked. I've said it before. We all get worked up about the ref, and then we're actually getting worked up about things where he's got it right, and it's us that don't know the rules. Aye, and I've, I've got to go away and check it. I, know, I didn't know the rules at the time. I'm sitting to Charlie McBurn, and I'm going, "Hey, you can have two balls in the pitch because that's happened before this season." Aye, no, I can't you, remember you, who against or why. You can, 
what what I would say, right? So when I'm talking about beating, I'm not saying he was biased against us. Sometimes, like, we, I think we have had refs that are biased against us. Beating wasn't biased against us. I think it just was poor. But then maybe make the argument that he was trying to let things go, let the play. That's what's good. Is that not the derby thing? We were going, oh well, so, we get refereed. Like we moan about the old firm getting refereed differently. Aye. Were we getting refereed differently yesterday? Maybe, maybe that's uh, maybe that's a case for it. Um, Anyway, right. Well, we'll move I on. I hate from... to sound like I'm trying to defend John Beaton, like, Aye. but uh, you know that's. I'm just saying. I think we, we lose our shit over stuff where we're wrong, and to <laughs> there's other reasons. Yeah. Um, would you be happy closing out the season with that team information? Think I'd be happier with Miko rather than this, but hmm. was no, Charlie's no, point no, yesterday? I, I, I like Miko, like, but I think this bit yeah, played well yesterday. Um, did you see the the, cel- the the thing about the celebration? He went kind of yeah. out to to uh, to Naismith. Apparently, Naismith had told him. It's kind of the, the, so I'm only repeating what I've read on Hibsley. Yeah. I don't care how accurate this is, right? So I've no fact checked it. But apparently, when we, they beat us in the semi final and this, but missed the penalty, mind his old man had just died. And apparently, Naismith yep. had said, oh, You don't mind be disappointed with you. Did he? Uh, what well, I can't, no, eh? I can't. Um, yeah. So good for uh, good for Nesmith to go and uh, uh, sorry for Nesmith for uh, Nesbitt to go and fucking hell. Uh, get to get it right round them. As he said, the second he's mate as well this week. Nesmith. Aye, what a boy! He has uh, mm-hmm. interviews are Catherine Esk, aren't they? Like I think if you've oh. if you've seen any of them, they're awful, awful, Aye. or or good. Uh, so, or, or or Maloney or Maloney esque. Aye, like what's what one of you know what I mean? They, they they were quick on the bandwagon last year saying uh, Aye. Maloney was Catherine Esk. Nesmith's taking it to the. Taking the next step on that one, like. Well, Nisbet said in his interview, just says, uh, let's, let's just say I don't forget things. I'll leave it aye, there. I've seen that. Aye. And I wondered what he was meaning. So, yeah. uh, good on you, Kev. Also noticed, just by the way, we were on the subject of Kevin Nisbet, and, and I said a consult, uh, condolences to uh, the Twitter user Barlos, the cat who lost his, his, his dad yesterday. So, um, sympathies with you, but he, he said that Kevin had reached out to him and offered him his match shirt and everything as a... Uh, as a wee gesture as well, which was really nice of Kevin right. uh, to, yeah. to do. Like I think sometimes folks folk give us a bit, a, bit of, a bit of stick for his attitude and stuff like that. But um, that's that's first class, really, isn't it? Um, Charlie McGrew thinks you made up. Said also, can we bribe whoever organises the last five fixtures so that Rangers and Celtic are our last two games of the season to avoid another poor run of form? Assuming Collins' negativity doesn't jinx the St Johnson game next week. Aye, that, that's will be me. It jinxes it. Eh? Aye, it will be you. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, I'm just going to rattle, rattle through the, the next few because we're, we're, we're almost at the time. Right, Whiskey Craig says, Doyle Hayes was everywhere, new outstanding. Yuan still needs the final ball but makes the runs. Cardin, excellent on the right wing. Fish and Hanlon, solid. Egan Riley, spectacular after the early booking. Nisbet for Scotland, all excellent, really. Um, I agree with all of that, really. Uh, Belden Lascar, very good. Rode our luck at times, had a few clear cut chances, which if we had a killer instinct, we'd have been out of sight. Newell on his A game, JDH also excellent. Overall, the team won this rather than individuals. Yeah. Um, and I, I think, by the way, that's a, a great point. And this will go back to saying, like, I, I think had we lost yesterday and it been a bad defeat with the team that went out and the negativity before the game, Lee Johnson would have got absolutely fucking hounded for it. And yeah. I think if you're going to do that, and it definitely would have got hounded for it, and there were already calls for folk wanting them sacked and everything, you have to give him all the credit in the world for getting that performance at the players because it wasn't just, was just like the tactical bit, but to actually get the players motivated to that level and go and win the game the way that we did under that pressure as well because it was like folk were calling it another El Sacco and that uh, again like they were building that up. But, uh, yeah, it's twice where he's been under the cosh, going into a big game. Aberdeen came away with a six 0 win. Hearts come away with a derby win. Uh, and you'd have to say hats off to you for uh, for doing it. Just on that uh, breaking news, like but, uh, St Johnson has sacked Davidson. I'm going to be breaking news with the team for listening. Have they? Uh, so it's quarter past one uh, for a period. <laughs> they'll, but... they'll get the, the new manager bounce the case. By the way, you would have thought he would have been fucking job for life there. Eh? Oh, didn't he? Yeah. Aye. I mean, you want a you want a cup double. Just shows you any sentiment in football. Mm. Uh, Freddie said, "Why didn't Hearts play Shankland?" Good question. <laughs> uh, Neil Renton said, there's the three names in the Hibs midfield for the St. Johnson game, Jake Doyle Hayes. Just playing himself, obviously. Uh, I Neil, we'll take that. Uh, Stephen said, do you think if we'd played like that in the previous derbies this season, Hearts wouldn't have had third sewn up in January? <laughs> Very good. Um, well, uh, even one of them, eh? one would have done. Would have... 
Uh, I have to say, right, the, I, I can't find the tweet whoever uh, whoever sent it in, which is a shame. Um, uh, actually, we Joe Baker said, well played, guys. To be fair, we did play this well in the other derbies, but couldn't find the net. They did. That was the difference today. Mind you, if you had had any awareness of teammates and could make pass more regularly, we could have had four. And I think that's fair. I think like both the derbies have been tight games in terms of like how they panned out. The last two hearts have had bigger score lines, and they've taken the chances, and you know, with two goals right to death. And well, that's what we spoke about back in that extra time episode back at the time, didn't we? We we, we appreciated that the three 0 was was flattering or a false sort of score line, but we accepted that they deserve to win the game. Aye. The difference is when when we have a performance like that, when they don't take a chance, and we do, we, we get one and they get they get three. You know what Aye. I mean? And that's what creates that perception. Of, um, I mean, I even listened to the preview show on Radio Scotland on uh, Friday and somebody said something like, my hips can't win derbies. You know what I mean? Aye. And it's like, and that's that's the perception that's out there, eh? It's like, and you get it because that's fucking something like five years at home or three and a half years or something. Do you think uh, Jenk Rangers are heading that way? With Celtic? That they can't win them? Because like, they seem to be sort of, Celtic seem to have their number big style. Than I think, I think the difference is that that we've we've carried this on for thirty years, Aye. forty years, <laughs> and and they've they they'll know they'll know last you know they would they would riot. Aye, um, Jeff Ashton said after a very good performance, do we go with the same team against the Tractor Boys going to a different game? Uh, personally, I would. Aye, well, I have kind of advocated that all season, eh? like stick with a winning team and that, but and I'm not bothered with formations. Aye. I think the the criticism will come and, and definitely will come next week if we play as defensive a lineup uh, against St Johnson and then he win. Like Vogel, what you did. One thing doing it at Derby, another thing doing it. But we're saying it's a defensive lineup, but I mean he played Cadden and right midfield like folk were begging. I, I, so so I he's a he's a, so is he a right back or is he a right midfielder then? Because we're counting him as a defender to have a fucking pop and say seven defenders, but neither wasn't the playing defence. I would say folk will say, I'm not saying that's my opinion, Cole. I just said this is what will happen, right? Predicted it. You, but that's... you care what will happen. You care what will happen. Ah. Um, but like we said, we, we, the for all the reasons last week or extra time that we said that he's streaky uh, and it's all the changes, like the jokes about the team selection tumble and everything, he does tend to, once we get a win, stick with it. It would be good though, like whoever said it, um, after the split. Let's let's assume we make this, the top six, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I think Livingston are at Dundee United, so yeah, we're saying we need to beat St Johnston. We do need to beat St Johnston for a point if we're well, to guarantee it, but also yeah. if we're interested in finishing fourth, which I think third's done. Um, but Motherwell's away to Dundee United. <laughs> Livingston's away to Dundee United, so that's that's good because Dundee United are on a beat. On a weird Aye. turn as well. Yep. Um, so so that's the that's the positive there. Um, I can't remember what I was going to say. It doesn't matter. Aye. Oh, Rangers Celtic get them in the last two games because then by then Celtic will have won the league sort of in the next week or two. By the looks of things, um, and uh, one of them will have a cup final. They look forward to. Aye. So they'll be resting boys and, and all that kind of stuff. So. That would be ideal to get Rangers self the last couple of games of the season. Um, Dave Graham says, how long before AC Milan make a bid for Paul Hanlon? Um, don't hold your breath, Dave. Uh, Stuart, was Nicky Devlin about to come on in the last minute or did he just go full John Terry for full-time celebrations? <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't have thought so. I thought he was... Uh, I thought he was, he was ready to come on. But, he was get seen off. Aye, but I can't mind... Um, when... when it looked like we were going to bring him on because I was looking at it going, is that, is that Devlin about to come on? So I think he was uh, maybe going to get put on uh, rather than, quick, let's get the tracky off and celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Stephen Bell said, I know we scored from a cross set piece today, but generally speaking, a cross in was honking all day and has been an issue all season. Beyond the obvious lack of quality, what are your thoughts for why it's constantly so poor? I, I don't know. I, I sometimes think it's the um, the crosses aren't they always great, but I think sometimes there's crosses that look worse because of the movement in the middle. Sometimes, or there's nobody in the middle, or you know, 
Just practice, eh? Just, just keep fucking practice, practice, practice. All right, last few, just going to rattle through them, Colin. Ch uh, Chase Otherland said, uh, right, here goes, we were shite, absolutely murder, but they were worse, which they never are in derby matches. Any other team in the league playing them today would have whipped them. And is the only player in the team that's decent, but forget the negatives today, let's enjoy and celebrate. Glory, glory. To <laughs> I can forget them after rattling them off. I think they're wrong. A harsh word. Uh, Lewis Connor said, I've been an FC to a man today, we're incredible, that is all. Um, David Fallon said, not seen a massive amount of chat about it, but Paul Hanlon's uh, assist for the goal was excellent, just cushioned it yeah, back in a dangerous area, and he says he thought Paul Hanlon was immense. And Steve McKenzie, I'd like to say I love Lewis Stevenson, he's great. I'd like a special mention for today's game to Joe Newell. I've never been a fan as he goes missing too much, but he was absolutely outstanding today. Best player in the park by a mile. And uh, last one goes to Tony Swanson. Team worked for the win today. It was great to see. And it was a, a proper, I said that on the radio, a proper team effort. That's that how you win a derby. You just have fucking 1 to 11 or you know, assorted numbers uh, therein. Um, absolutely at it. And we were absolutely at it yesterday. And, and there was only one team really going to win that game when, when, uh, when you play like that. Yep. Right. Thank you very much for uh, for all your talking points, your questions that you sent in. Thanks for folk who have tweeted us since full time yesterday, or even during the game. Actually, um, we are about to uh, record extra time. So our subject to extra time this week, right? So extra time, if you don't know, it is our subscriber exclusive episode. We normally spend half an hour talking about a specific topic, um, and we have had a bit of chat recently about how would you challenge uh, the old firm. Um, there was rumours of a potential takeover from a, a guy who tweeted us to say he was trying to buy the club, um, but in the in the um, Twitter space online recently, there's been a bit of noise gathering, a bit of momentum gathering, a bit of rumour of potential involvement with City Group, including um, some comments that Lee Johnson himself has made about a partnership. Um, so we have looked online. We've done a wee bit of digging in to see what that would mean for uh, for the club. We've used and uh, nicked this idea from Hibs.net, uh, ChatGBT, to, to give us a description of what clubs would expect if uh, if they signed up with City Group. So we're just going to run through some of the what that would look like if Hibs were to get into bed with the Man City owners um, and what it would mean for the club. So if you want to hear us talk about that, you can go to our Twitter page. There's a link there to Hubwave. Uh, you can sign up. So if you only want the Hibs content, because this is something that we changed recently, you can sign up just for long bangers. You get no short bangers, no heat bangers, anything like that. Um, £2 a month, or you can get everything for £3 a month. Um, and signing up only takes a wee minute. It's dead easy to do. Uh, in the meantime, Colin, thanks for your time there talking about that. Uh, great, everybody that we won the Derby. It's about fucking time. Fuck the hearts and uh, more the Hibs, and we'll see you next time. Tell me now when I broke free I drank all the whiskey in Tennessee